Ohio House Bill 68 was passed by the state Senate. The bill would ban gender affirming care for transgender youth. It would also stop transgender athletes from taking part in women's sports. Fox 19's Peyton Marshall joins us with some reaction from Ohioans. Yeah, Rob Tricia, in addition to House Bill 68 passing, it's important to note that just earlier this morning, a grandfather clause was added for Ohio residents already undergoing treatment. Either way, this topic is extremely heated on both sides. Stand here today and say I am not comfortable with what's going on uh, with the uh, scientific evidence, and I stand in support of both of these bills before us today. Nobody is saying, oh, I want my kid to be trans. It's, it's a, it's hard. It's hard to be trans, especially in the society we're in right now. Local activist Jamie James is not surprised that the Senate voted to pass House Bill 68 on Wednesday. Are you shocked that it passed with a 24 to 8 vote? Not at all. They seem to go along party lines. What lawmakers are doing is they're displacing their own residents. They're forcing them to have to go somewhere else not creating an environment that's open for everyone. The bill would ban minors from receiving gender affirming care and prevent transgender student athletes from playing on women's sports teams. What would you say to people who feel that it's unfair? These are youth sports. These are sports it's, and youth sports should be about inclusion and every child should have the opportunity to be included in every student activity. House Bill 68 does not restrict the eligibility of any student to participate in co-ed or male designated athletic teams or competitions. What are some of the realities that you wish would be relayed for these trans youth? Well, the realities are they know who they are. Most kids who go into gender clinics or go for gender issues don't get prescribed hormone blockers. Jamie says most trans youth are typically referred to psychologists and psychiatrists, not prescribed hormone blockers. The SAFE Act also prohibits Medicaid coverage of gender transition services for minors, but it would still cover mental health services for a gender related condition. It's crucial to note that on Wednesday morning ahead of the vote, senators added a grandfather clause to the bill, granting Ohio residents who are currently receiving treatment to continue. I think that if you're already undergoing it, you should be at least allowed to continue it. But I think as a state going forward, we need to have a lot better uh, science behind backing what is going on here. And until that happens, we need to pay, be passing and supporting uh, substitute House Bill 68. Jamie feels this vote is revoking power from parents and putting it in the hands of lawmakers. Jamie feels the trans community is being, quote, outed for existing. I mean, prior to coming out, I had, had very little issues with housing or, or, or dealing with parenting my children. And since I've come out, I've had Children's Protective Services called on me. I've had landlords threaten me. I've had more issues than I had the entirety of my life before. And right now, House Bill 68 heads to Governor Mike DeWine's desk. I do want to add that in past, Governor Mike DeWine has questioned the need for banning transgender student athletes, saying that it's really a matter to be handled by leagues and athletic associations. But of course, we're going to be keeping you updated as we learn more information from Governor DeWine's administration. Reporting here in studio, Peyton Marshall, Fox 19 Now.